Am I the asshole for taking away my stepdaughter's electronics? No. Mm. Unless you let your blood daughter keep the electronics. Just gives them seems right to, to happen her daughter. A lot. Yeah, which seems <laughs> to happen a lot in these stores. I'm going to say, uh, oh, I mean, I guess it all depends, you know, like how long you've been the step parent. Uh, yeah. There's a lot That's of kind variables. Of intricate. Yeah. Like a, a week one step parent. I don't think you get to have full parental <laughs> Rules. The day after the wedding. <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, but, you know, if, you know, if you've raised this child as your own, so to speak, for the last, I don't know, most of their life, then, you know, you could, a parent would be fine to take away, uh, you know, electronics. So, yeah, should be the same. Fair enough. I'm going to say what are you no. Saying? Okay. I'm going <laughs> to. What are you saying, I'm gonna, John? I'm going to go with, yeah, just, you know, my money's on the um, the, the few times that we've had step kid step parent interaction the step parent was usually on the wrong so i'm just playing yeah, the odds true. at this point fair enough Fuck. all right divide it again <laughs> am i going to a no to start what am i the oh, miami heat <laughs> <laughs> and then sean comes back and then you still beat him <laughs> wow would rather <laughs> just <laughs> lose <laughs> all right so my husband and i have been married for three years now we have a blended family with his two children from a previous marriage. Our family dynamic has been challenging, to say the least, and my relationship with my stepdaughter, 18 female, has been especially difficult. There have been a lot of issues that have led to our, uh, our strained relationship, including issues with discipline and boundaries, but I won't get into all of that stuff. Suffice us to say, things have been tense between us for a while. Now on to the situation at hand. My stepdaughter has a bad habit of neglecting her chores and responsibilities around the house. This has been an ongoing issue for a while now, and my husband and I have tried numerous times to address it with her. We tried patience and understanding, but after a while, it becomes frustrating and exhausting having to constantly remind her of her responsibilities. Last week, my stepdaughter was tasked with cleaning her room. We'd given her until Saturday to do it, but at the end of the week, her room was still a mess. When I asked her about it, she told us she was too busy with school and other things to get it done. I reminded her that her responsibilities come first and that she needs to make time for them. What do you guys think about that? What like where does school prioritize over chores? Uh, growing up in an Asian household, I can a hundred percent tell you school will always be the first um, priority. I think that also my families. <laughs> I think I think that might be most Perfect. families, right? Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like if she is actually doing schoolwork, I think you know she's she's fine, that's, right, for not doing the chores. Yeah. But and it's so hard, especially with. Just the the challenges on some like getting it depending on what kind of college you're trying to go to, um, you have to do extracurricular extracurricular activities as a student for you to even be more competitive. So maybe yeah they are doing extra. So I mean, it's been a while, but by the time you're 18 and a senior, everything is already done at that Set. point, right? Like there's not much That's you can true. do. You still need the grades though. Like you can still get your scholarship or something like uh, like they can renege on your on your scholarship, uh, right? Okay. If you don't like get a certain grade, I went to community college. I have no idea. I, I'm not sure. Um, so fast forward to yesterday and her room was still not clean. At this point, I had had enough. I took away her electronics and some money out of her college fund that my Ooh. husband had been saving Whoa. for a while because she Whoa. didn't clean her room like she'd been asked to and made poor Hold. excuses. Okay. The electronics the part is weird. I get, <laughs> but the money thing is straight up theft. Yeah. Weird. Like she's 18. That's her money. Technically, that's right? her money. Yeah. yeah. Um, she was very upset about this and started yelling at me, calling me evil and saying I was being unfair. She even went so far as to tell her mom what happened. And now she's upset with me. Here's she the should. thing though. My husband is on my side. He agrees hmm. that our daughter was being irresponsible and needed to face the consequences of her actions. He understands that I wasn't trying to be mean or unfair, but that I was simply trying to teach her daughter a lesson about responsibility. So am I the asshole for taking away my stepdaughter's electronics? And then she just keeps trying to give more constant. But anyway, that's most of it. <laughs> anyway. Wait, so did they just take the money and spend it elsewhere or? They don't They're say. just holding it to. I can read. Let me read the last little part here. Just uh, see if there's any. So, uh, so am I the asshole for taking away my stepdaughter's electronics? I don't think so. I understand that she's upset. But at the end of the day, she needs to learn that there are consequences for not meeting her responsibilities. And I don't think it's fair for her to paint me as the bad guy when my husband and I are just trying to be good parents and teach her an important life lesson. Um, so they don't actually say whether they spend the money elsewhere. 
Presumably, like electronics is fine. I feel like yes. you're a okay. You had me with you, and then bam, the you money out the of the money. college fund <laughs> is so strange. And even if you know it, all that money is technically her dad's, and he agrees that it was the right thing to do. Wild for you to just you know do that like without Initially, talking to him yes. first, or yeah. just like you know just. And also a strange punishment. Like, what are you going to do with the money that you didn't even put in there? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. At at no point was that money ever yours. It was your husband's and then your stepdaughter. Well, now it's hers. (laughs) Well, now it's hers. But like, I don't know where you have the liberty to take that. I don't know how she had access to it. Unless it was just like lying in a bank account, maybe closet or something like that. But uh, yeah, they could have a shared bank account. Maybe it's in there. Yeah. Who knows? Um, it is very odd to make that the punishment. Like I, I, I agree with you guys hundred percent, like electronics. Sure. If you want to like put your foot down and say, Hey, chores come first before electronics. Sure. Fine. That's absolutely okay. But then when you cross into the money territory, it's like, that seems. That's be over personal at that point. Right. Yeah. Like it, it like you, someone, I forget which one of you said it, but it was stealing basically. Yeah. Um, like why wouldn't you just like, you know, since he's putting in money, at a, you know, I get, I'm assuming at like a, a steady rate, you know, yeah. Uh, so that I'm going to stop just the next, the next time, you know, you're not getting next month's uh, deposit into your savings account. You know, right. Something like that. Taking the money away seems that's crazy. wild. I agree. Uh, so yeah, that's, I, I agree with you guys. I think asshole uh, for sure. I think, yeah, like you said, it maybe take away the electronics and then threaten, you know, uh, like the, upcoming money or something like yeah. that that's maybe a better way to parent um but also there's a little less like it's not 100 percent whether she was actually doing schoolwork like that was instead of chores it's, yeah so, it was vague but yeah. well, it could be so she could be she could also, be also just teenager. fucking off <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah also uh, it's like wild to i mean you're treating this 18 year old kind of like a little child 12 yeah you know yeah what i mean yeah uh, a teenager's room is not going to be clean. I can imagine if there's like bugs and shit and you, you're getting fucking, it's getting gross in there. But if like, it's just like clothes on the floor, et cetera. Yeah. It's fine. Not the end of the world. If they are actually yeah. like, doing schoolwork and stuff. Um, yeah. And, and it sounds like it's know. just their room, right? It, are they doing yeah, any other chores outside the house or like within the house too? Or there was that context wasn't given. No context wasn't given, given that, but. See, it's the room. Like, what the fuck are you doing in the room anyway? Expert in fucking power. The great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs> <laughs>